blessed and pleasant good afternoon moms and dads boys and girls welcome to another edition of children's bible minutes brought to you by the anglican diocese of Belize. rafi muki and i are excited that you could be with us here this afternoon it's a beautiful monday afternoon here where we are in dangriga and we pray that all is well with you right where you are as well today we will continue our look at the teachings of jesus and we're looking at the teachings of jesus in lent leading up to the final days of Jesus, which we will look at at the ending of Lent leading to Easter. We are continuing our look in Matthew chapter 7, and today we are looking at Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through to 29, which talks about being hearers and doers of the word. And this particular reading talks about a wise man and a foolish man and where they would build their house. Mm -hmm. So let's begin by reading together the portion of Bible scripture that comes from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 29, that we could hear what it has to say. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who builds his house on a rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it has been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and do not act on them will be like a foolish man who builds his house on sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat against the house and it fell and it was a great fall. Now when Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were astonished at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as a scribe. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There you heard the reading from Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 through to 29. Now, to give us a more child-friendly version of this reading, let's listen to the parable of the two builders from Saddleback Kids. Here we go. Stories of the Bible. The parable of the two builders. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah! When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. We want to thank Saddleback Kids for the use of that one, the parable of the two builders. Of course, the videos and song we use in these shows are property of the copyright owners, and we are just glad that we are able to use them in order to bring education and entertainment to children about the word of God. Mm -hmm. So there you heard the story of the parables of the two builders. And what was this story all about? This story was all about getting the people around Jesus to understand that they needed to trust in God and to have a life that was built on the firm foundation of the promises of Christ found in the words of the Bible. When we have a life that is not built on a relationship with Jesus, 
when the storms of life, the bad things, sadness, hardships, when these comes and hate against our life, like a storm against a house built on sand, if our foundation is not solid and rooted on Christ, we will fail, we will fall, we will have all kinds of sadness and hardships, and we won't know how to deal with them. But if Jesus is the foundation of our faith, if Christ is the solid rock on which we build, then we know that even when the hardships come, we will have the love of God to sustain us. And that is what Jesus was trying to tell the people, that the wise man builds his house upon the rock. A wise man builds his salvation upon Jesus Christ. He hears the word, he does the word, and he anchors himself with God through Jesus Christ. The foolish man, not so much. He hears the things of God, but then goes and does what he wants. He doesn't follow the teachings of God, and he doesn't build on a firm foundation. So when life gets difficult, <laughs> his situation gets worse. Now we have a song from um, Jumpstart Part 3, which talks about the house on the rock. Let's listen to this song, House on the Rock, and when we come back, we'll finish our discussion and pray to end of today's session. Let's have a listen. These words of mine, therefore everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice. the house on the rock 
from Jumpstart Tree. And of course, that music video is copyrighted to Jumpstart Tree. We are just using it for our show in order to bring you the word of God. Listen, everyone who builds their house on the rock, everyone who hears the word of God and does what he says is like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 through to 29 tells us all about that. So the question is, you come to Children's Bible Minutes, you go to church, you listen to sermons on TV and on the radio. Are you doing what you hear the word of God says? Mm. Because if you're hearing the word of God and not doing what it says, then you're like the foolish man building in house of the sand. But if you are doing what the word of God says, boys and girls, moms and dads, after hearing it, if you are a doer of the word, you are like a wise man building your house on solid ground. A house that when the storms of life come is going to stand strong. That's the teachings for today. That is what Jesus was telling his disciples and the people around him then. And it's the same message that we hear today. And how do we become doers of God's word? Well, we try to live the examples that Jesus has set for us. Mm -hmm. Starting with love God and loving your neighbor as yourself. Anyway, we are out of time, right, guys? And we have to boot, scoot, and boogie out of here on to the next day. But guess what? We had fun with you today on Children's Bible Minutes. Now, before we go, we would like to say a word of prayer with you. Would that be okay? Excellent. Could we close our eyes and bow our heads? Awesome. Let us pray. Good afternoon, God. God, we want to thank you this afternoon for the ability and the opportunity to come into your presence to learn from your word. God, we heard today that we should not just be hearers of the word, but that we should be doers of the word as well. God, help us that the things we learn from you through shows like this one, through time in church, through advice from our parents and our elders, God, help us to hear the lessons that they teach that come from you and to put these lessons into practice in our lives. God, we pray that even as we speak, even as we act on your behalf, that our lives could be example for others, that they too may be doers and not just hearers of the word. Help us to remember that if we build on a firm foundation of a relationship with you, no matter what the trials are in life, our house will stand strong. We love you, God. And we thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence. We thank you for the opportunity to hear from you. We love you, God. And we thank you for loving us above all things. We lift our prayers and ourselves unto you through the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, boys and girls, we are out of time for today, but we hope you had fun with us here on Children's Bible Minutes. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, same place, same time, 2.30 Wednesdays and Fridays, Sundays at 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. We will continue our look at the teaching messages of Jesus leading up to his crucifixion. Now, we are going to boot, scoot, and boogie out of here, but as we leave, we're going to wear our masks, we're going to sanitize often, and we're going to practice our physical distancing. If you go out, try to do the same. If you don't have to go out, stay home to keep yourself and your family safe. Above all else, remember that God loves you, and we do too. Until next time, bye for now. <laughs> Thank you.